All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to um, Crazy Hair Day number two. What um, do I buy and where do I go? Welcome to day two of the Team LA Renegades boot camp oh for mental toughness. Hey, hey, Black Rain. Yeah, so this is basically a Q&A. I wanted to talk about what we covered today um, and show you some examples of like Mm, show you some examples of, of like uh, team group dynamics that I have done on various teams. Hello. So let me find. I've got a pink word and a green. Where do you go? Do you go? How can I get a flow like that? Like this? Or like what? Mm, yeah, not going to happen, sorry. It's just such a beautiful flow. OK, I'm trying to pull up, I'm trying to pull up a graphic. Uh, you're going to give me one second before I turn my camera around and show you my computer screen. Do you want me to gank this out? I want to show you an activity that I did today with, with Team Renegades. Um, basically. Uh, can it has highlighting, auto? highlighting like Flares. what team dynamics uh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. look like in a professional league team. Oh, like come does. on, Google Drive. Yeah. What the heck? All right. I don't know if they like make their Wi-Fi like really intentionally bad, or if I'm just out of luck yeah, today. It's annoying. All right, it's not working. So I'll just show you guys the um, the uh, blank versions that I have here. Informal team rules. I think Rhymes is coming, but I'm. Informal team rules. Informal team rules. Minimize. Sorry, I didn't get prepped beforehand. But uh, my bad. Do you know they have summers on Oyster? Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, it was number one, it's number two, it's number three. All right, so check this out. How many more teams are you working with before you go home? Uh, Renegades and then Team Liquid. And then, um, I don't know, maybe another team. So first of all, okay. this is the activity right now. They're, they're basically dynamic queuing with one person shot calling everything. And uh, that's, that's the drill. No shot calling. Yeah, try to punish them a little bit. OK, so um, basically, like, take a look at this. These are the informal roles on a sports team, uh, ranked from like most important to least important by the team. So spark plug, somebody who like initiates stuff, kicks off action, team player, nonverbal leader, mentor, verbal leader, social uh, coordinator, comedian, star player, enforcer, distractor. And these are the roles as like kind of estimated on some random random team. Okay, and then I have I have a bunch of different examples of these that are anonymized that I kind of want to show you. Uh, this is one of them. And here's another one. Okay. And here's another one. Oops, that's the first one. Oh, that's the same one. Here's another one. Okay. He has flush. So basically, when we're looking at team rules, we can see like that um, teams have more or less dynamic problems based on their balance of rules. So here on this team, we see that this person doesn't have very good clarity over what his jobs are in a team. He's been voted by teammates to be a okay, star player, a, a comedian, Do you want me to come? a spark plug, and okay, a team player. And he doesn't know what his job is. So when stuff goes bad, like nobody knows like how, like what to listen to and what his job is and, and how to recover. Uh, whereas like this person is team player and comedian, so really clear roles there. Um, <coughs> And, and this person is almost almost meaningless, right? He's just like a little bit of a spark plug, but otherwise he doesn't really do or add anything to the team dynamic. And then you have this 
huge, 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 huge like person who's taking all the responsibility roles in the team. So imagine this team when this person tilts or when this person leaves the roster. Then you have a team that like might be like like uh, C nine, right? Where like you take out high and like they don't do anything because there's no leadership or whatever in, in all the rest of the team. What are your thoughts on TSM coaching changes? Do you think it was necessary to facilitate success? I'm not really sure. I I don't know. It depends on who their next coach is. If he's worse than Casey or better than Casey. So, like, I didn't really have any. I didn't really have any like uh, insight or. Um, I wasn't asked about anything, like related to their coaching staff, that I could comment on. So. Um, okay, and then we have another team. Now this is a really well-functioning team. You see that we have like spark plugs, uh, verbal leaders, um, star players, uh, comedians, a little bit of distractor. So you have like maybe like um, like a really well-distributed team where you have like a comedian who like helps people relax when things are going bad. You have like three people who are initiating stuff. Um, you have people who are leading stuff, they probably have each different like leadership styles. Um, you probably have like uh, like a team player over here who's like does his job. Okay. Then we have another team here. Um, this team probably looks like it has a lot of problems because um, the distractor will, the distractor is the opposite of the comedian. So the comedian like, um, no this isn't TSM, these are randomized. So I, I like basically like picked a bunch of random numbers to highlight a model of different teams. Do you think I'd be a good fit for head coaching okay. position? Um, obviously I could do it. Uh, okay, so this is uh, this team. You still want me to go there? Please help TSM win this split so I can see you competing at MSI. Um, I mean I don't know how how I can help TSM win unless they hire me to do something. They haven't hired me to train them in any way. Uh, but I know that they're interested in in sports psychology consulting. So, uh, have you ever dealt with a team that had a player that was very mute? For example, Ball seems very quiet. Yeah. Uh, usually, like they are either they either end up like as a team player role right here. Like they they just seem like somebody who's like you know just kind of like does whatever the team says, or like a nonverbal leader when they lead by example, but they don't say anything. So this is the good case. This is like a less good case when they're just kind of like passive and they just do whatever the team needs. And the worst case is when they're a team player, but they're also like a distractor, which is not on this particular team, um, because that means that basically like they don't like their role as a team player, and so they kind of like dis they're distracted from it. They don't fit it very well. So this is this team like has a lot of um, spark plugs and a lot of comedians and a lot of like social conveners and a lot of like, um, that's the purple one. What's the orange one? Spark plugs, blue ones are mentors. But if you look at verbal leadership, uh, they only have just this little bit right here and that's it. So like this team like gets along really well and has a lot of fun together, but then when they have very little leadership and so when things shut down in the game, <coughs> Uh, the team flops, and so like this is a big problem. So we have to like on this team we need to give more verbal leadership, and on this team we need to distribute responsibilities, and on this team we need to like um, you know bring in bring in like this person more, and make sure that these people's verbal roles as leaders are clarified really strongly, um, and yeah, so that's an example of. Like what I did, what I did today with Team Renegades, and um, and we were able to use that activity to uh, see kind of how the team is structured, identify strong points, identify weak points, and decide what jobs people have on the team and how to fulfill those jobs. And then we start working on them in scrims, like what it looks like to do that job well. How hard is it to adjust your roles in a team? Does it just take time? There's two things. One is role clarity, so you know what your job is. Um, and once you know your job is, some people can just step up and do it because they're like, oh, yeah, it's natural. Other people are like, I want to do that, but I don't know how. Like with Alish, like we're working on like how to activate his teammates because uh, he really wants to activate him. He's like a spark plug personality-wise, but like he doesn't know what to say to make people like take action. Um, so we're, we're like working on that. 
whereas like you know Alberto is like a really good verbal leader and like that's really great so like we don't have to push they that because like that's his strength right they're recalling, um, they're recalling bottom, so you and uh, what was I saying before sorry I don't remember anymore oh well Oh yeah, so the first thing is role clarity, knowing their jobs. And the second one is role like buy-in, like taking ownership. Like, do you like this role at all? Do you well, want this role at all? Midnight. So if they, like if they have a role that the rest of the team sees them as that, but they don't Part like it, package. or they're like, I'm not that personality, or I'm not, I'm not like that, then it can be really bad because they're, they're, they're never going to get better at their job. They're not going to want to wake up every day and become a better spark plug or a better like, verbal leader. So, um... So yeah, do you want a little tour of the Renegade's house? There's no, there's no questions. Like by now, you guys are like asking tons and tons and tons of questions. Like, how did you help TSM two zero this weekend, or or something like that? We fight this when he gets here. What questions do you have about? Um, so, oh, by the way, I was able to train Ember, and I wasn't able to do any periscopes th earlier this week. It was really fun. Do you think TSM players have like a mental barrier, and how far are they? Can can they go in terms of team synergy? My day was good. Um, Not friends, Chris Frasca. Um, I think that, yeah, I think TSM had a mental barrier towards, like, trying to be nice to each other. Uh, or, yeah. Um, they, were try they were trying to be too nice to each other to keep the harmony. So we, like, told them they love each other and they don't need harmony. But it's fine. What, uh, what I think of Casey, the decision about Casey, I can't really comment on it. Um, biggest problem with Renegades, um, how was Ember scrimming against TSM? Is the big gap between the LCS CS? Did did Ember scrim TSM? I'm coming. Obviously not. Is there a big gap between the LCS and the CS? I think no. I think it's really funny. Um, yeah, I can still see the work paying off in their scrims. Uh, I think I see the top challenger teams scrimming the top LCS teams and the lower LCS teams scrimming the lower challenger teams now. Isn't that interesting? So that's kind of like, oh, yeah, Snapchat and Ember scrim them. Um, it went really good. Yeah. We scrimmed TSM with Ember and um, it was so satisfying. <laughs> I was like... Uh, uh, good for the team I was training at the time, which happened to be Ember. It was awesome. They were like calling me crying on the phone, like, well, then come back. Um, <coughs> that, that was fun. Um, do I think Renegades will 2 0 this week? Listen, Renegades is, is facing um, Immortals this weekend. So I'm aiming for a 2 0. Obviously, I always say that. Uh, but like, if we look at the probability, like just the sheer statistical average, you can say that there would be a there would be a chance of problems in our immortal scheme. Um, yeah. So like the thing about Casey, you know, like I think that uh, like that was that was starting and, and happening like before I was ever there in the picture or even talked to. And um, I think that like the decisions were made between the the management staff and the players, and like I don't know if like I was brought there to just like make sure that people were happy while while they were testing things out, or like whether they were just like trying out different models or what. But um, like uh, I thought that Casey, like I, you know, every TSM fan wants you back, right? Yes, I'm aware. I see, I see this on Reddit. But like while I was there, like Casey did a really good job, like making me feel at home like uh, like I've never gone into a team house and like had like a place to sleep ready um, like ran out and grabbed me like shaving that? cream and stuff like that out of the three Ember, TSM and Ren which is the most enjoyable group to work with um, it's a toss up between all three of them actually Ember seems like a good team they just seem like they have confidence issues yeah <coughs> yeah T Ember's a good team they each have their own fun points for each group, like uh, uh, I'll go, I'll go over each group. Like, what's the most fun point for each group in a second? Like, there's a story about Casey. So he like, he like really made me feel super welcome in terms of like being a guest in the house. 
and like taking care of all the stuff that I needed and like helping me fit right into the schedule. Like, and he like keep you know kept a really good schedule. Um, and I, yeah, I, you know, I, like I think that. That's canon. Uh, I'm, I'm here. Um, like if you if you look at like a checkbox list of like you know do your job, I'm sure that he was doing his best to do all his job. So then it's just a question of like, like for a professional sports team, like did they want those boxes checkmarked like to a moral, to like a how's the morale right now? Is the team in a good spot after such a rough start? Obviously, it's really low morale after such a rough start. Yeah, but they're really like um, strong, mentally strong. Do you think Casey lacked respect? Seemed like he had good ideas. The players didn't take him seriously. I think that the players tried to take everything they could learn from everything that he said. Like that's the thing I've noticed about players. Like I was talking to Alberta today, and I was talking about like well, like I was talking about strategy. Right? What do you think? He was like, I was just trying to learn from it. Like obviously, some of the things you're talking about, like I already know and like I already do, and some of it was wrong. But like I was listening to it, I was just trying to take as much as I could learn from it. I think every player has that outlook. So I'm pretty sure that like, like. If it, like the players that I've worked with have always said like it's not about respect or authority, it's about wanting more sometimes. In the last question you said you don't know how you're going to help TSM get far, but I think they need you. What I said was I can't help TSM because I'm not their employee right now. So until they employ me or hire me, which you know they seem interested in doing for sports psychology, um, then. But I don't know if they're going to. You know, it's not its not just one person's decision or one player's decision. Uh, and it, um, and then, like, there's other options besides me. How would you be moving to the States? Uh, is it true money has a little to do with the coaching side of the team? Um, I'm not sure how Monty does the coaching side of the team. I think that he watches almost every screen uh, and every game, which is what something he told me, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, <coughs> um, am I open to moving to the States? Not completely, but do you temporarily. Do you think there's a reason why Korean teams don't need sports psychologists? Yeah, because Korean culture does sports psychology automatically. Um, the idea of pursuit of mastery instead of pursuit of competition is part of Japanese and Korean culture. Um, okay, what were the fun things about each team? So TSM, the fun thing was working with like super, super, super highly driven players, like people who want to be the best in the world and want to win the world championships like multiple times. Like their goals are not even to just win it once, you know what I mean? Like though that's the kind of like to drive you have to have to like get better every single day. I learned so much from their pursuit of, of perfection. And uh, the fun thing, what do you think TSM has nothing else? It seems they only have Parth and Jarge. Um, <coughs> I think they have somebody besides Parth. I think they have Jarge and somebody else. Um, I don't think Parth is doing an analysis. Um, <coughs> kind of seems like LS is trying out for it with his YouTube videos. Haha. <laughs> do you think the junglers affect the game overall? How do I think junglers affect the game? I'll get to that one sec. The fun thing about Ember was their like spirit and Golden Glue is really like jovial guy. In one week, you did more than once in two months. Consider yourself hired. Hey. Hey, Chris. I'm on Periscope. You want to say hello? Hi. Who are you to? I don't know. Periscope. 50 people. I don't know Periscope. Yeah. It's like a live streaming phone app for like social media for oh. Twitter. Nice. Yeah. What's up? Hmm. <laughs> do you want to do you want to hang out? Okay. I came up last night and I knocked like after you, after you said let's hang oh, out. Oh, you did? Yeah, but I think you might have been asleep or else I was just too timid. Well, I haven't gone to sleep yet. Oh, okay. You're still you're still awake? From yesterday? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I should have knocked harder. I was just like. Okay, dang it, dang it. I w what a loss of time. Then. Hey, I'm periscoping. I heard that I saw. I actually came down to say hello. Oh. You're getting a lot of hearts. Hey, Mr. Green. Oh, I didn't. I didn't read the question. Sorry. Fifty-two. I messed up my hair. Oh my god, my hair's falling out. I, I feel like uh, baptized in here. Just, whoops. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? That's Rob. He does the best videos ever. 
This can and flush you on the D engage. He did right. Yeah, they're 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 doing a drill right now, dynamic queue and um, do you have anybody you look up to in the field of sports psychology? Michael Gervais. Um, uh, Nick, uh, Nick is shot calling everything. Nick Nobody else is allowed to talk, but they're talking anyway. But he's shot calling the whole game. You didn't answer my question about junglers. Okay, what do I think the role of junglers in the game is right now? Uh, to uh, make a side strong. What's your opinion on LS? Because I saw he read you. Uh, I've talked to him. I think he's awesome. Um, jungler's job at him is screen. I saw this because LS retweeted you. What do you think? Of him, is he truly good? Yeah, he's awesome. I think you're amazing, and I wish more people follow you on social media. TSM shouldn't let you go. Thanks. Um, role of junglers in the game uh, is to make a side strong. So, like, you have, mm, let's say, you know, floor top and sunder mid or whatever. So, your job is to, like, get lane pressure, help get turn that into vision, uh, you know, and then, and then create a kind of like force the either force the other jungler to respond to you on that side of the map and win the 2v2 or the 3v3 or whatever, or it's to like push them out of there and force them to make a play on the opposite side. And then you pl your play has to be better. So I think that's what the jungler's job is. And, um, <coughs> um, sorry, I have a cold. Um, any other questions? What's next? I missed, I missed so many questions there when Chris stopped by. I really apologize for that. So feel free to re-ask. Easiest person to work with in Renegades. You mean like player or like staff member? Easiest person to work with. This is interesting because before I got here, I would have said Alish because I worked with the Copenhagen Wolves, so like I had like a good background with him. But now that I'm here, it might be Oleksi or like uh, Alex. Alex Teach. Um, which I didn't think was going to be the case before I got here. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, he flushed when he wants Don't let your beard grow anymore. I watched every single video on YouTube. You look a lot younger now. Yeah, thanks. My wife agrees 100%. Although she, I don't like this thing here. I need to go running. I went running the other day. I ran up a. Uh, Thorin said double should not shot call and just listen to Neil Sars Claw's thoughts. That's a bad idea. He's really smart. Um, he knows way more about some stuff. Do you like staying in the US or Europe more? I like Finland more. Finland is like number one for a lot of stuff. Um, of course, America is awesome. But, like, you know, each country has their strengths. Uh, what do you think of LS Gordon, Ramsey, extremely aggressive coaching style? Have you seen Whiplash? I haven't seen Whiplash. I don't know who Gordon Ramsey is. Taiwan number one. How confident are you in TSM for the rest of the split in the future? I think they position self themselves really well with their player acquisition. I think they have three super smart people who are super driven, and they uh, and then they have two more who are like really, really, really super smart and super driven too. Um, and I think the combination is going to be astoundingly awesome. This app is amazing. You are a thousand miles away, and my questions get there like instantaneously. This app is amazing. What are your thoughts on Thorns insights when it comes to league in general? I like Thorne. I think he has really good insight. I think he's wrong about shot calling being a authoritarian thing. Why do you think Reddit, a lot of people in the scene look at double as dumb mechanics only player? Because they don't know how good he is at um, strategy. Do you believe there should be a signed primary shot caller? No, absolutely not. What do you think about lane swapping in smaller tournaments than LCS? You should definitely, definitely, definitely do lane swapping uh, and take every advantage you can from it. Um, you should like become very good at so la here's the thing about lane swapping for no risk at all basically you can do a lane swap and you can match the other team can lane swap and you can end up with, with an advantage like even if it's just like a 3 CS advantage okay uh, or even if it's just like a 300 gold advantage but like if before the game I said like you can start the game with a with an, like a 4 CS advantage would you take it if there was like a mastery point you could take for free that would give you a 4 CS advantage. Um, Diamond 5. <coughs> was my rank last season. Um, except that I didn't end Diamond 5 because I stopped playing like in February or something. So I have no idea what it was at the end. Uh, this keeps in my mind get Reggie on screen right now so I can tell him if he is dumb, if he lets you go. Uh, I wasn't let go or acquired. I was hired as a consultant for a week. So he didn't not... Let he didn't not keep me. 
Did you do anything to enable the Yellowstar to be more of a leader within the game? Yes, I told the Yellowstar to start yelling at people. Even in a democratic system, don't you still need a definitive voice, especially in those high-pressure situations? No, you don't. You need everybody to buy into everybody's voice so that when a person, like, talks, everybody believes in them and follows the call. Um, so are you hired or not? You're confusing me. I was hired as a consultant for a week. How do you have players cope with negative criticisms given on social media and the Internet? Um, I tell them I, I don't. Uh, I, I don't really have to help them cope with that. I help them win, and then they won't get negative criticism. I help them they'll cope with negative thoughts. Once they get into their head, they become negative thoughts. Those are the things I deal with. I don't really deal with the social media side. Um, mm, there was another question I was answering. I forget what it was. Rewording question. Do you think militaristic aggressive and abrasive coaching style works, or is it flawed? Um, I think it works well in, in certain sports. I don't think it works well in eSport. Do you do consulting for traditional sports or just eSport? Just eSport. I'm a coach in traditional sports. I coach soccer and swimming and probably tennis too, if I bothered to. Um, no, I don't think authoritative coaching, like abrasive coaching works very well in eSport. How do you manage your time, by the way, between playing and real life? I don't play. Uh, I have my championship meet this weekend. Any advice for a fellow swimmer? Um, Higher testosterone leads to more successful races. You are competing against people in the race, um, not just your time. And competition drives people to supersede their own physical abilities. So uh, see it as a competition. Apart from you and IMT coaches, are there any other sports psychologists in the scene that you know of? Yes. Jonathan Carter, Summer Scott, Peter Young, Chris Alfenar. Um, I hope I'm not missing anybody. Christine Simelli is a nutritionist. Um, Lucas Schenke was SK's. I think he's maybe dropped out of eSport now. Um, do you have any insight of what Origins problems are, and do you think you can unlock the team? Yep. I think I could, because I think I'm the awesomest. And uh, their problems are that they need me. Do you think Bora should be the ultimate shot caller? He could be, yeah. What are the types of coaches a team should have? They should have a coach coach. That kind of coach. I like a coach. Double Lift says he misses you. I miss Double Lift a lot. He always buys me like the coolest smoothies. Like he, every day he introduced me some like amazing, cool food. Like a, what was it this time? Like Sibbles, S Sibbles, some sort of like non ice cream thing that you get from an ice cream shop or a smoothie shop or whatever. That's like a Sibble, a Sibble. That's what it was. I was like, what the heck is this? So good. Or like. He introduced me to smoothies at um, the grocery store last time I was here. Um, he introduced me to like some sort of fruit. Um, he teaches me about diet, uh, and like uh, it's fun to go to the gym with him because like he lifts, like he's like super dedicated to his um, workout, so it inspires me. But then I always have a stronger like shoulders. Coaching different baseball is solved. So just practice. But lol, ah no no I missed the question. Please reask. Um, sorry. It, it faded so fast. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> I really apologize. You prefer tea or coffee? Tea. I can't hit the I could never drink coffee till I moved to Finland. And then Finland, like, is like a super coffee drinking place, so I started drinking a lot of coffee there, but uh, I still prefer tea. Very, very much so. It has L theanine in it, which is really important for reaction speed. Do we have a vote for you staying at TSM House? I would vote for you even if it is for presidency. I don't think there's a vote. I think it's a sole proprietorship business. Will you be at Worlds this year in NA? I hope so. I really want to be. Oh, my God. I've been working with LCS and Challenger teams. What factors separate them? Um, less and less factors celebrate them, but I would say the attitude of the players right now. Attitude of the players in the LCS is like, this is super duper serious. And the attitude in the challenger scenes is like, there's a lot of challenger scene players who have been there for a while, and they're like, they're, they have a really challenger series outlook. Uh, and then there's players who are like, I want to be in the pros. Does caffeine make it harder to sleep at night? Yes, it does. You shouldn't drink caffeine within two hours of bedtime. If you were here, I would like to buy you a drink. I'd love to have a drink. Better you voting for Donald Dumb. Smoothie or alcohol? Smoothie would be great. Carter for Luis. Kenson for Luis. I'm in L.A. By the way, if you want to hit me up for a drink. Coaching baseball solved, so just practice, but little patches, changes game, different skills, different... Yes, the most important skill in uh, in Lowell is, is your wife finished? Why Finland over Scandinavian countries? Why do you think the biggest difference in Scandinavia? Okay, um, biggest, most important attribute in Lowell is being able to learn. 
uh, why Finland? Because they had a free master's program in sports psychology, and it was at the premier sport university in Finland. My wife is not Finnish, she's from Indiana, and um, uh, I didn't catch the, I don't remember the last one. Ah, and I missed the question. Can you explain lane swap? Because some teams seem to do it so well, while others, well, yeah. Can't currently, that's why I said if you were here for Worlds, I'm your same friend. Thanks for doing this, man. <coughs> um, I can try to explain lane swaps. It's going to take a bit, and I have other questions coming up. So, um, who has the best mentality of all TSM players? Hmm, interesting question. Who has the best mentality? If I think of mentality as like being super ambitious and like using that ambition. have to be mm, I might have to say Soren. I think Peter is super ambitious and he's getting to be untiltable. Um, what is the difference between you? Hey guys, I'm periscoping. Say hello. I'm on periscope. Oh, hello. My wife like periscoping a lot. Your wife does it a lot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alex teaches life. Wife periscopes a lot. Oh, yeah. Smartest league player I've coached. Probably Spirit on Fanatic. Guy is like a super cyan, autistic, like his autism, you know, in a good way. He's not really autistic, but I mean, like, he's like a super genius. 54. How was working at Ember with such a young team? Um, uh, it was fun. Super fun. I'm at the Renegades' house, yeah. It's just crazy. They have a basketball court and a pool in the backyard. And, like, just three floors. Three stories. Three stories. And they have the best chef of any team. What is the difference between EU and any teams? Uh, any spends is more willing to drop dough. Sleeping with the enemy, no. Do you play ball? Uh, I won in horse. Does that count? Um, <laughs> Lightning round, too difficult. Who's after Renegades? T team Liquid. Okay, n did Nick win? Way to go, Nick. He shot called the whole game. I said GG and then BG because he said BG. I gotta use the Alright, dinner in five minutes, guys. How to isolate yeah. skill oh, practice? What is it? jumping from team? I need team? help. Hop. What is the jumping? <laughs> 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 can't pop. You need to tell Freeze yeah, to play Draven. They said um, play Draven. Do you watch other reasons? Says Elsie. My periscope said to play Draven. Oh. My periscope. Periscope. Yeah. Periscope is. Uh, it's a streaming app for Twitter. Ah. So there's 54 people, and they said, and look at all the hearts you're getting. Look at those hearts. Ah. Okay. Apparently they think you're very, very handsome. I, I know, right? I know it myself, but it's very nice when someone asks uh, The most like popular this. guy on the Periscope is the guy that puts on the girl's clothes and go like super wild shit there. Oh, the, the one is like with the, with the beard and stuff? Yeah, I think so. Singing the, the songs and then like... Yeah. How do you know that? I, I watched the video. <laughs> Oh, my Apparently goes. dinner's ready. Uh, do you find yourself uh, doing something similar training for each team? Yes, very similar training, but I adapt it for the problems present in the team. So TSM had very different problems compared to Renegades. Uh, they need the same approach, but they need a different tailored in different ways. Um, <coughs> I'm going to put this down and, and pack up my, uh, my microphone. Give me a sec. Then we'll go upstairs and see you at the dinner. Tell Freeze hi from BRNO check. He already left the room, sorry. Nick, should I shoot him? Should I shoot him? Should I shoot him? Shoot him! Should I shoot him again? Oh no, he's armed. I will kill you. Who should I shoot, Nick? Wait! They're fighting for the gun. Oh god, don't shoot me. Shoot me! Ah! Oh! <laughs> the guy who's saying TSM's primary problem with shot calling was that they had three people who needed to be shot calling, and actually four, and only one who was doing it, and nobody was listening to him. So I made four people start doing it, and I made all of them listen to each other. Freeze had a good plan when he was about to face TSM. He was trying to tilt double lefts. Yes. 
Your plan to uh, with TSM was to tilt double lift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. They said you had a good plan. I know. Thank you. So for everything you did yesterday, I will step in the shower. Yo, wait, wait, I, you need to have a reason today. <laughs> They're getting like a mini house tour right now. Snapchat? No, this is a uh, Periscope. Periscope is like a phone streaming app for Twitter. Um, so I do like Q and A's during my workshops because people have a lot of questions about it. it makes a heart. So when people tap a lot, it goes like. So I got a lot of hearts. Yeah. Cool. I like hearts. You and freeze. You want to see? Yeah. Look at those hearts. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crumbs! I think you're smart. Thank you. Does crumbs still play his sax? No. <laughs> no. It's Vancouver. It's in Vancouver. I don't play it anymore. Your hair is on point. You know, that's not a question. That's just how I shower. I don't actually do anything to it. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Do you think the West has a chance this year? How do you think the best of three will help? Well, that's a good point, actually. Uh, a chance at winning the whole thing? A chance at winning the whole thing or not? I don't um, think winning the whole thing, but I definitely see... Do you tax your lanes? Do I tax my lanes? Yeah. In scrims or in solo queue? In scrims or in solo queue? And I think they mean in solo queue. Absolutely. In scrims? <laughs> uh, if they want, if they want, if they, want they the need push. it to be pushed, I will tax it. Otherwise, no. Who is the leader in Renegades? Um, there's we have verbal leaders and nonverbal leaders, and there's a couple of each. Scrims. I am the verbal leader. Crumbs is the verbal leader. What is Crumbs' most predominant role in Ren? Verbal leader. Verbal leaderage. And also, he's the jungler. <laughs> well, can't argue with that one. Oh wait. Look, somebody loves somebody on Renegades, and we ate it all. Probably From a mentality point of view, why do you think Immortals are doing so great? Obviously, because they hired Robert Yip, my friend, who's a sports psych trainer. My vertical growth is has outpaced my... shows up to them with them every day, that's kind of a... Yeah, yeah, he's my associate. Not very tall? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Because they got Yip, yeah. Oh my gosh, everybody just showed up. Wow. What are you doing, man? So, how, how was the dynamic cue, you guys? I thought it went well. How I, was it? Uh, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What are your thoughts on naps? I like naps, but I never get to take them. See, I What's like it, but I think that we, we should have put some... What's for like dinner? Periscope wants Ooh. to know. It is... Do you want to tell them <laughs> yourself? Sure. I tried to eat steak and parmesan crusted zucchini squash, as well as balsamic asparagus. Fry tip steak. Wait, what was the second thing? Uh, Parmesan, Parmesan crusted, zucchini crusted zucchini squash. And what do you think needs to change in order for NA to become the elite region? And balsamic asparagus. Damn, I just realized Reggie didn't hire you. Are you streaming? Are you streaming? I'm Periscope. Uh, wow. See, this is why I mean that Renegades have the absolute best food. No, I have like 50. Oh, do you want to say hello? Yeah. Look at those hearts. Whoa. Whoa. I like hearts. How do you believe in pressure assisting high level team to do some? Does it differ? Yeah, the pressure pressure differs because there's expectations laid upon them. Um, with the pressure in TSM is like to improve and to be the best, and the pressure here is to like not lose. What do you think the Koreans are doing right in esports? Why is it so hard to replicate? That's a really long answer, and I've answered it a lot, so I'll try to do it before the other questions come in. Um, basically, is the structure of their society and the way that they have uh, mentorship within their organizations from the ground up. Senior players mentor junior players. Assistant coaches mentor. Senior players, then coaches, mentors, assistant coaches, and then managers, yeah. Do you have any questions for RF Legendary? Do you think it is a main issue stopping NA or succeeding in Worlds? They've had esports for a legit career path for a while, too. Hey, would you like some ramen? <laughs> There's never been ramen there. There's never been ramen there. It's just labeled ramen. RF, when do you... I'm not going to ask that question. Do it to homecoming? Jake, is there a spot? What? Do it to homecoming? No. Is there a spot for the street? Yeah.
restructure is uh, insurance for the restructure. What? When you go to the restructure, the they're playing Jenga with love. I think this is the first time you've seen Team Renegade without their bandanas on. You have to pay? What? You have to pay for doctors here? What does RF stand for? I don't know. Really fun. Really fun Renegades. Or really fun le Legendary. Well, you have to pay insurance, but you usually have to pay two at a time. I don't think anyone knows. Anyone noticed? I don't think anyone knows what RF stands for. Nobody knows. I think the same players are ready psychologically when you work for them only a week. Nope. Uh, is Monty an NA? He was. He's, he was at the last LCS, wasn't he? But I think he had to take off. Sadly. Do you think it is positive or negative to be close friends with teammates? Are there downsides? There's no negatives to being close friends with teammates. Um, but you need to have high intimacy, not low intimacy. So there's like a difference between friends and close friends. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We have scrims tonight, so. Ciao. Must be hard for moving to place to place, like you said, and you said you like TSM. Yeah, but I don't have any choice. Do you have personally play LOL? Do you play ranked? I play ranked. Um, yeah, I play like Assassin's Lesson. Have a good night. Thank you. If Captain Muncher, uh, I'm Captain Muncher again, guys. Send a request. Oh yeah, send a request. Thanks. Good luck, man. Hope to see you. Yeah. About the thing, yeah, I like certain teams. I like all my teams a lot. I don't mind moving around because I learn a ton. Um, I like people telling me to stick with a certain team. Like, I don't really have that choice. Like, if a team hires me, great. If they don't, then I need to get. I need work because I have kids. And I'm quitting my job to do this. So, do you think a person's personality dictates the rules they play? Yes, 100%. We want to make that line up. Believe me, I heard it. You saw it? I heard it. Oh, okay. Is there something spicy? How about you look right with a black uniform? Good luck, man. Do I have a black uniform? No, something spicy. I don't know if I have a black uniform. Now we have a video of him bullying you. You can see him. That's my creepy one-eyed look. Okay. It's a Snapchat. I'll be done.